Okay, thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Mohit Mazumdar, and I'm one of the co-mentor and project guide for the students or cohorts uh, who are interested in working on their own biomedical project. So this about this program and the sessions, uh, as you have already heard from uh, Dr. Sajid, let me explain the next few, uh, the next sections of the program. So the purpose of this is to understand about biomedical data science. So data science has the potential, as you, as you know, has the potential to, uh, to, be, to be impactful in pharma and other uh, uh, industry, such as uh, application of uh, data science in clinical trials, and also you know, it helps in cutting down the cost and all of that. So in this entire program, we will be learning about uh, the roles uh, of machine learning and to interpret and analyze biomedical data. So the sessions, as you have already gone through the first three sessions, uh, the next section will be, uh, will be taken up by Dr. Harpreet Kaur, who is an expert in machine learning techniques and has several publications applying data science techniques in different types of omics data. So in this program, you will be learning about how to load, explore, visualize, analyze biomedical data using big data analytical tools and coding uh, in R and Python. So the session after that, uh, so after the, uh, after the first three sessions, so this will be the fourth session. And here you will learn about the NGS data type, some of the examples of continuous, continuous data, uh, which is the gene expression data, and then examples of categorical data, which is like the clinical uh, and the drug response data. So in this session, you will be introduced to complex data sets and, need, uh, and then we will be uh, yeah. helping you understand how to prepare and analyze the data set uh, correctly and to do some exploratory statistical analysis. So in the next session, uh, which will be the fifth session on 23rd June, we will use supervised machine learning algorithms such as principal component analysis, hierarchical and uh, k-mean clustering to find groups uh, and then to find patterns and similarity in large data sets. And in the next session, uh, which will be the sixth session, uh, after learning about the unsupervised machine learning methods, we will be uh, in this session, we will be learning about training and test data sets and how we can apply classification algorithms such as decision tree, random forest, super, uh, support uh, vector machine. After this session, once we have had the introduction and understanding about different techniques and uh, learn to apply different algorithms using the TBION4 platform, in the next session, which will be the seventh session, we will be discussing and we will be guiding participants to develop independent biomedical data science project. And as I was telling you about this, that in this session, we will be understanding about the, the different technologies that were applied in a project and how to do the data integration when we are considering multiple data sets. So after learning about this part, uh, the session starting from 30th June till 7th July, uh, we'll focus on coding in Python and R and performing different machine learning algorithms on projects or example data sets that we will be sharing with all the participants using our Slack channels or emails and with uh, all the other resources. So in addition to the sessions, the participants will be able to learn by completing the associated tutorials on the Omics Logic portal that you saw. So in the next session, we will be performing clustering on different biomedical data sets and understand what it means in the context of a research. So after this, in the session uh, on 5th July, we will learn about classification and understanding the effectiveness uh, and to differentiate the results that you obtain from different machine learning algorithms. So after this, we will, uh, we will dive deep uh, into the model accuracy and validation and use uh, for this, we will use examples of clinical and uh, NGS data. And in the 12th session, which is the pen ultimate uh, session, scheduled session, we will discuss the real world applications of machine learning. And we will also go through uh, the understanding of how artificial intelligence 
uh, can make a difference in decision making. So in the last session, last scheduled session, we will review the project proposals and we will provide feedback from industry experts on the project proposals and what would be the next step. So this session will be about planning your bioinformatics analysis, literature review, compiling a primary data set, developing a research plan and methodology, uh, performing exploratory analysis, data processing and preparation, statistical analysis, biological interpretation and validation. I know it sounds a lot, but these are the steps that you need to go through when you go through or design a biomedical project, which would be one of the objectives of this program. And this is what we have prepared for uh, you to go through the biomedical data science uh, program. But along with this program, as a part of this entire initiative, uh, the summer initiative, we will be also doing the chemi informatics program, which will be going along uh, parallelly. So before I, uh, we talk more about how you can register for the data science program, I'll also tell you a little bit about the chemi informatics program, and then I'll pass it on to uh, Ms. Sonalika to, to, to tell you more about how you can register for either one of the program or for both the program if you are also interested in chemi informatics and the uh, data science involved in that chemical space. So the, the program which will run subsequently and like it will be uh, running alongside the data science program. So the sessions are scheduled on different, uh, different dates. So the sessions does not align. So the, so the students who are opting for both the programs can take it as well. So this program uh, is designed to address uh, the challenges associated with understanding, modeling, uh, screening, and applying KME informatics strategies to improve drug discovery results. And in, in this program will be starting on 15th June and uh, it will be available and it will be, the sessions will be scheduled till 22nd July, 2021. So in this program, we also have a, a two day uh, complete uh, workshop. This is all day workshop. So in this workshop, uh, participants will get practical experience and in-person guidance to use the tools that are offered by Strodinger. So you will learn about the Maestro GUI and how to do uh, organic molecule, molecule sketching. That will be very useful in your own uh, designing the molecule uh, project if, you're, uh, if you are interested. And also like screening for hit identification and finding therapeutic, therapeutic targets and all of that. This, uh, it will be available as session third and session fourth. It's planned for the weekend. Uh, so. We will have several sessions where we will be going through practical hands-on in this one. So you'll learn about docking, then you'll learn about it to lead modification using software. And then there's a session on free energy contribution using the molecular dynamic simulation data that will be covered in the second day of the workshop. So uh, these are some of the opportunities that are upcoming. So in all, we are trying to help you uh, develop understanding about different types of data set and how data science plays a role in it. So there is an important session that will be available to those who join, join the programs that we are offering right now as a part of summer programs. So data science and its application in clinical trials and clinical research. So you'll be getting all of that uh, and learning all uh, application of AI in healthcare using uh, the resources that will be available for you in June and which will, uh, uh, with the entire training will be available for one month and uh, also the access to Scrodinger software license and also access to the T-Band for server license. So uh, very uh, uh, interesting uh, aspects for a researcher to go through these tools and to develop projects and show this to uh, in our upcoming symposium in August and get an opportunity to win prizes and also to participate and get feedback from international panel of experts. So all of that is coming up and uh, for you to start that journey, now I'll just pass it on to 